So, how's it going guys? Shin here back with another video and today I bring you an updated version of uh, the Daredevil Link uh, deck. Um, so, uh, yesterday I showed a version that was more, uh, in terms of uh, cards used, more Unchained centered. It was more about um, using the Unchained monsters to float on uh, the you bell monsters to just get more link power and more uh, more more firepower for the deck. Um, but the problem with that deck list is that it plays uh, more bricks than you probably should have. Um, so today I just decided to bring uh, a deck list that was way way better uh, made for that. And yeah, let's just look into it. Um, Unfortunately, uh, one combo I'm stealing from Lugasako, so shout out to him. The other one I was already doing, but I couldn't upload uh, in time, so it is what it is. But yeah, shout out for Lugasako, he already launched uh, a video on this version that I'm playing today. Uh, and yeah, let's just get into the combo. So first one, this is going to be the normal Samsara Dilorus combo, um, which is going to be to end on Apple's Apple's Rage. Let's get into it. So what you do is you normal uh, Lotus and go for its effects, get Spirit, Spirit gets Nightmare Pain, activate Pain to destroy the um, Spirit and get Squirmer. Spirit effects summon the Ubel and Grave Squirmer effects special summon. You're gonna go and link to into Yama. In Yama, you're gonna get Sharvara. You use Squirmer, banish itself, and summon back the Spirit of Ubel. And you use Sharvara, pop the Spirit summon, and Spirit will float once again into Ubel. You link to into Rage, and Sharvara will set from the deck Abominable Chamber and then you're just gonna link 4 into Abelusa for 2 negates and that's the combo you just get the double Abelusa negates and 3 interruptions on rage plus if your opponent tries to deal with battle or destruction against rage you can just float it and get follow up at the same time either follow up or uh, more protection in uh, the case for Spirit of Ubel. If you feel like it's going to be tight and your opponent is, is going to try to go for a game, you can add Spirit of Ubel instead so that you can get more protection during the battle phase. Otherwise, you can just go for Samsara for next turn. And yeah, um, that's basically the combo. So, um, second combo is going to be with Throne. Uh, this is the Promethean line that Lukasaku. Um, uh, put on his channel as well, and uh, I just have a slight difference in um, in the end board than him because I just felt like Hamble Whale wasn't as good right here in this deck. So um, yeah, let's just get into it. You want to get Throne, Throne gets the Samsara, um, and Samsara will just spell summon the Ubel. Uh, Ubel gets the Nightmare Pain, and then Pain pops the Spirit, gets Squirmer. Spirit gonna be chain link one, throne chain link two, throne is gonna add to your hand and then special summon Terra Incarnate, and then the other one is gonna um, float into the OG Ubel. Which is the only difference between being able to do uh, the Promethean line in this version um, compared to the other version, because uh, the throne just gives us an extra body on the field while still remaining a one card combo. Um, so yeah, you're just going to Yama here. You go Yama. And Yama adds the Sharvara. Then you go Squirmer to summon, and you're gonna link into Rage. Um, you're gonna go Squirmer to summon back the Spirit, and you're gonna go Sharvara on the Spirit, summon Sharvara, pop Spirit, Spirit effect, chain link one, and Yama chain link two. Yam is gonna bring back the Spirit. You need to sequence this right because the Spirit will only summon the Ubel. So you need to summon the spirit with the Yama. So you get double level 10. And then you're gonna link three into Promethean with the Rage and Sharvara. And Sharvara is gonna set the chamber from the deck. Now uh, Promethean can revive the Sharvara and go into either Amblo Oil or in my case, I like going for Sunlight Wolf. Uh, 
because you can just make the rank 10 the, um, downwards from him and it will trigger and I can get back the shove uh, in case I need it for something like you can use it for example when Promethean is on the field and you have nothing to make you can just shove around the Promethean so that you are not fire law and uh, basically just unable to play uh, or it can be just to you know if your opponent's going to banish your rage and it, you can't activate it you can just go Sharvar on the rage, still maintain a body and rage will get you something for next turn. So yeah, I feel like getting the Sharvar here could be better than just getting uh, the Amble Oil. So yeah, this is gonna be the combo. Um, combo number three is to play around Nibiru and for that you need to open either opening or uh, the dark deck in beasts. Um, so let's just get into it. So in here we have the opening, so I'm going to activate opening, get beast, and beast normal summon, get another opening for uh, next turn. Then you're going to go um, Samsara, um, going into your spirit of evil, get nightmare pain, get squirmer, you know, basic evil stuff. Then you float into the OG evil, you can get squirmer here, for example, and you go into Yama. And Yama is going to search for Sharvara. And you need to go into Squirmer right here and not just blink the, back, uh, the beast away because you want uh, you want Squirmer in the grave right now so that you can threaten an Appalooza. So now you go Squirmer, banish Special Summon Spirit, and now you can make a 3 material Appalooza. If your opponent has Nibiru uh, and he Nibiru's you right there, uh, it's fine. You can still end on something like uh, rage plus rank 10 or something of, of that kind, which is not bad. Um, then I'm gonna go opening, uh, discard the second opening that we added to get back the spirit, and we go Sharvara on the spirit, special summon Sharvara, spirit of your bell, and Yamba both got the trigger, get back the spirits and the OG. And then you're gonna link the spirit and the Sharvara into rage. Sharvara go into a chamber. We're going to end phase. Since we control OG Ubel, Lotus can trigger to spare summon back from graveyard, and you can use a Ubel to tribute the rage so that you maintain the interruption from Lotus. And chamber plus rage is still live. So the rage pl rage play is still on and you get an extra interruption on Lotus, and that's basically how you play through the view. Just threaten, um, threaten Appalooza whilst st still um, keeping Sharvara and the opening effect available for your place. Now, these combos are going to be to play around Imperm. There are two ways to play around Imperm, mainly. Uh, the, sec the first one is to just open, precisely opening, if you open Beckoning Beast, you can still play around Imperm if he doesn't Imperm the Beckoning Beast, but Imperms the Lotus. Uh, but I doubt that will happen, so you you just need to open the opening for this play uh, to play around the Imperm, um, and I'm gonna show you why. So basically, we're gonna go into opening, opening, get the Dark Beckoning Beast, and then we're gonna normal summon that are beckoning beast effect um, and your opponent will imperm here most probably if in this line if they also only imperm the lotus it's completely fine because you just get gonna get another opening for dark beckoning beast which will be just free use um, so in this case the imperm beast so i'm gonna link it off for the almirage and i'm gonna use opening to discard the lotus and spare summon back the lotus and then it's basically full combo and this line can end on the same Promethean line right here because it has the extra body uh, to then go into, um, into the Promethean line without uh, using one of the two uh, level 10s so it can end on the Promethean line as well and the second way to play around Imperm is with Squirmer. Uh, basically, you just go uh, Samsara, your opponent 
uh, inform the samsara on someone because they need to inform the samsara on someone otherwise you activate any troops for cost and now the inform is useless um, and also if they don't inform there and they wait for the spirit of evil you can just dodge uh, the inform on spirit of evil as well with the squirmer so this one is even better um, so yeah, the Imberm, you just special summon the Squirmer for free, you link to into Yama, Yama is gonna add the Sharvara, and you're gonna go Squirmer, special summon back the Lotus, since it's a zero attack defense fiend, and then you're gonna go Lotus, Tribute, get Spirit, and you get Pain, and go full combo. Uh, basically this is gonna be uh, the Apples align with an option to go for something like um, that you well trap so that you have either more follow up or uh, depending on how you go through uh, maybe you can instead of going for a blues line do something a little different and also grab a super poly which could be nice and yeah that's it for the combo let's get into the deck list real quick so uh, there are some similarities with Lucas Sacco deck list but there's also some changes um, we absolutely want to keep Lotus at 3 Squirmer at 3 as well since it lets us play around with things like Imperm uh, and stuff, it can help a lot, actually, because this is basically Sharvar of the deck. It just helps with the interruptions, which is really nice. Um, then you have Triple Throne again for consistency, Triple Nightmare Pay the same. We have the one eternal favorite. Um, we are not playing the Mature Chronicle since in here we are not playing as much to spam new bells, uh, so we're not going to get enough counters for it. So instead of that, we're just playing the one eternal favorite for that one case where we already have access to Squirmer and we can search something else. Um, then we have the three bricks on the three different u -bells. You don't need the ultimate, um, ultimate form in this one because you don't want to float too much in this deck. You just want the extra body of the throne. This is why uh, the Terra Incarnate is here. It's purely for throne. Um, then we have the Dark Pegni beasts package which is just two beasts triple gates which as i explained adding three gates is better to play around imper and then to uh, then triple backing beast and in this version it doesn't matter if you start with opening or backing beasts to play around the bureau uh, because the other one you needed to start with the backing beast so that you could get access to two level twos for the gym but since how we play around the bureau in this version is threatening an Appaloosa, we do not need uh, the opening at all. Uh, the triple Dark Penny Beast at all, sorry. Um, then we have, of course, the Sharvara and Chamber package. Um, Chamber is just better, because then you can just do link plays, get the Rage in the Grave and still get the Rage Interruption. You're not gonna go for Escape Pop here at all, so it's just, it's just better. Even if you don't use it, for example, in the first combo with Apples, if you don't get to use it, you can just escape, uh, chamber back the Yama if it's still in the grave and get follow up from there because the Yama can then get back the sharp art at the end, which is nice. Uh, then we have double Pure map for consistency, uh, one for one, and terraforming. Uh, Pure map is insane because it can get you either the starter, can get you a way to play around the perm, can get you a way to play around the bureau. It's really, really nice. This card, I like, I like it a lot. Um, then yeah, one for one terraforming, more consistency, and sometimes if you're extension to Imperm, you can of course play around Imperm with the one for one on Samsara. Uh, one called by because it was like our 10th spot, I didn't not, did not know what to play and I thought that maybe it could be good um, here. Um, it cuts you off the Promethean package, but besides that, if you go into the Fire King, uh, matchup right because you're gonna use the call by most probably on uh, the Promethean. Um, otherwise it's just more consistency and prosperity and another nine slots. You basically just have ten slots that you want to fill. If you can fill it, you can fill it with whatever you want. I just chose this because I wanted to try in a stack because this stack is more um, with Nightmare Pain and the uh, U-Bells is a bit more easy to OTK than other decks. So. I just wanted to uh, try some stuff, uh, but yeah, you can absolutely change those for uh, end traps if you want. I just felt like 10 spots, it would be more uh, impactful with uh, board breakers. 
Again, the extra deck, we just have one each of the Super Poly targets, which is the one Loving Defender, one Garura, one Mad Dragon. We have the rank 10 for just obvious reasons. This is basically the Caesar of this deck list. We have the one on Mirage to play around the Piru. We have the Sunlight Wolf for the Promethean package. This could be Amul Lyle. You have uh, I playing a Dark just so you can try to push more easily into boards. Double Yama, one Rage, and one Anguish for the Unchained package. You get one for the combos and one for follow up when you need it. Then you get, of course, the Rage for going first and the Anguish for going second. Um, we play the Promethean, of course, for the lines. We have the SP for when you play uh, Rage. If you don't, if you can't afford the SP, just play with Unicorn. It's gonna be worse, but it's still good enough. Uh, one Exco Talker for going second, and one Apple for going first. And that's gonna be it for the deck lists. As you can see, this version is more streamlined. Um, it breaks less and it still has some really good consistency, really good combos, can still play around the same things that the other version used to play around as well. So that's really, really good. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, drop a like. Comment down below uh, if you have any questions and let me know which version did you prefer, this one or the more unchained U-Bell floating uh, version. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, subscribe never miss any of my future videos and that's it. I'm gonna see you guys next time.